time for season two of Dangers in My Heart. Let's get it wrapped up quick and then we can start. ReZero. Let's begin today's reaction. Wow. She was telling her friends. <laughs> go break your leg, Adachi. See if the girls give a fuck about you, bro. Try it. Just go try it. Shiba. What? I guess it does look a little weird if you have like a dog collar. I don't know. It, it's kind of playing to some weird shit, you know, if you have like a dog right on your necklace. I, I know Yamada meant well. It's supposed to be matching, but I could totally understand why she would think like, oh, the fuck? You into this shit? <laughs> Yo. They always call her Dayama. Alright. Hara? Hara understand? Okay. Hara picked up quick. Okay, okay. Yamada. Who is this girl? I've never seen her before. Already her design is peak. What the fuck? Yo, are we gonna ever see her? Is she a background character? Why they give her so much fucking design for a background character? Oh. Yeah. You fucking idiot. Why would she say that? She can probably hear you right now. She literally walked behind you. I hope she didn't hear that. She heard it! You deserve the cold treatment, bro. You deserve that. It's like... Undoing the entire progression of season one with this one moment. Well, let's start from scratch. Can't even write that notes down. Yamada. Nah, 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 nah. He doesn't deserve it. Give it, give him the cold treatment. Look away. Walk away. Let him know how you feel right now. Walk away. He deserves this shit. That's right. That's right! Yeah, you know, that's, that's a good call. That's a good call. If he went for Hara after... Yeah, that's a, that's a dangerous one. Holy shit, Yamada will get even more mad. Adachi? Oh. Yamada made Adachi take notes for Ishikawa. After knowing how Ishikawa said that shit. Wow. <laughs> Manipulated. Mm, bro, come on! Say sorry! Say you didn't mean it! Just fucking tell her! <laughs> For what? Say it. <laughs> Are we actually not that close then? Oh, I like this Yamada, bro. Come on, say it! Say, explain to me right now, I'm sorry ain't gonna do it. What are you sorry for? You say that I'm sorry for saying I wasn't close to Yamada. The only reason I said that is so that other people wouldn't have that assumption about us and potentially other people shit talking you because I'm a fucking loser. But at the end of the day, no one actually thinks that way. It's all in my head. I'm 14. That's all you gotta say. Yo, I wonder if they're gonna do the same season one shit, you know? Because this is when, like, you know, the lights come on, carte, you know, heartbeat sounds. I wonder if they're gonna continue with that formula later on. Indeed. Let's walk together. Wow. Oh, why? You getting jealous? 
何かと世話を焼いてくれるようになった一緒に勝たしてあげるどうしたっけ Which one is yours indeed? Just use both. <laughs> <laughs> Anachi, why are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> We're reading the book together like fucking Doki Doki Literature Club, bro. Yo. <laughs> Don't you dare sniff this shit. You gonna sniff this shit? I think he's gonna sniff this shit. <laughs> you should have caught it! <laughs> ちょっと見てくれよこれ。何？エロ本か？惜しい。あ<笑>、oh, no. なんだ。いいから見てみろ。こんな雑誌ごときで騒ぎるなんて、相変わらず低俗なり。One hundred percent Yamada does it and he's gonna get worked over it. じゃあ、な、え、芸名アキノって言うんだ。アナアキノ。モデルだけじゃなく、バラエティ映画とかいろいろやっている。Oh, look at me. I know so much more. I, I'm closer to you than any of you will ever be. I <laughs> know your place, peasant. <laughs> so tuny, man. <laughs> Chill! <laughs> Microphone, sure, not micro bikini. <laughs> You in a micro bikini? Yeah, pretty much. Probably doesn't want other people, but she probably wants Ichikawa to see her, right? Fairy Mart. It's Lemon Zaka again. Lemon Zaka is. That's Yamada, right? Wait. This is Yamada, isn't it? Lemon Zaka. Lemon Zaka has like shorter hair? This is Yamada. Lemon Zaka was the girl that Kanzaki's into, right? Did she, did, was that was that Adachi? I forget which one said it. No, it was another guy, not Kanzaki. <laughs> she fucking. She just wanted to flex. Wow! It's Lemon Zaki. Oh, oh, I'm just gonna open it and oh, wow, right to the page where I'm in. Of this 50 page magazine, I'm just gonna show you. Wow, what are the odds? It's me! Hey, it's me! Did you see it? <laughs> Oh wow. Yamada datta. Oh. Kare, it's mo tachigatte jikan kakatta. Shizen tai ga ii itte yuwareta ka. Demo, maari no staff san wa omoshiro kutte. Oh. Itsmo tori de yoku torete iru to omo. The hand grab. Itsmo tori to minareta Yamada to iu ka. Homeru no muzu. So te koto wa saikou no condition te koto? Nande so naru? Yeah, buy this for you. <laughs> Remember, she saw the magazine in Ichikawa's bed. Remember that shit? Micro bikini. Did she not see it? Did she not see it? There was a magazine there. Maybe Ichika saw it, and he was trying to hide it. Because the bed was there, the magazine was there. Cameraman saw it, but Yamada didn't. On that one episode where she came over. Right before he stops. Got it. <laughs> See what? <laughs> it's, it's in her bed, right? It's in her bed. And micro bikini. Yamada no ego will choke she taking a katano. They're picking the fourth wall. Let's just play the bright sunset. They know that they fucking abuse the fucking sun ship, bro. Whenever they, you know, there's like intimate moments. Alright. But like, that's the thing about getting involved with someone like Yamada. Like, she's no average person. She's in, like, the entertainment industry. She's, like, doing photo shoots. She's, like, an idol to be, right? So, like, you know, you should be aware of certain potentials to happen. Like, I don't know, a fucking micro bikini show. I don't think that would ever happen, but, you know, that's, that, that's something that you gotta be aware of when you're getting involved with girls like that, man. And Ichika, 
I don't think Yamada would necessarily go that direction. It's, I mean, even like the kiss. Remember the movie? What happened to the movie, bro? And like the actor Suga and potentially like the kiss scene happening and like Yamada feeling kind of bad about it. Or maybe that was just my interpretation, but it's part of the package. What kind of psychopath cracks an egg horizontally against the fucking stove? Because if you crack it, there's potential of it leaking down. You need to do it on the fucking top or use the fucking the, the bowl. What, what are you doing? You might as well fucking crack it on the ground. She's going to raw dog it? <laughs> Yo, Hara's getting the information. Mmm, with Ichikawa. Yeah. Christmas Eve date. And. What was it? That wasn't a date. There was a date before. Then there was Christmas Eve. Then New Year she came over. Kanzaki, what's you looking like? Oh, what the fuck? Whoa, <laughs> that's weird. He's no longer Connie anymore. I don't, that's, that's weird. It's like, you know, I expected the shave head all with the. It's kind of. I'm not sure if I like this, bro. The sideburns is not working with the too long hair in the top. I don't know. The sideburns is too fucking long with the short hair in the top. Yeah, the sideburns, bro. Holy shit. Hara hates it. Did she like it or hate it? Okay, she hated it. Oh, what is Kaibi doing? What are you imagining? Alright, we're gonna have to do a reversal. We ignore Yamada now. Bitch, you're gonna pull this shit on us? Just like how you were mad at us, we're gonna be mad at you now. Now ignore and walk away. Just fucking walk away, give her the cold treat. Hara knows, Hara knows. The hair is not tucked in at all. But Ichikawa always has his bangs out. It's gonna be weird. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Huh. Honestly, he's a good looking kid. I think that his emo hair doesn't do him justice. Like back in the day, the kid hairstyle, it looked great. He should just like have a different hairstyle, man. But maybe Yamada likes it like, you know, the ice covering because that's how she got to know Mimi like in the first place. <laughs> Hara, you get it? Those are all burns. Is that chocolate pancakes or just burns? Ah, that's you pancake. No! <laughs> Still compliment after cucking him. Dog chain, no! Yeah. Mm, the blue one for each color. But she has a corgi though instead of Akita. <laughs> Bitch been on a diet for fucking 13 episodes now. Come on. It comes like you're like him plump. She like a voluptuous. Oh! The sideburns mentioned. Still not reading together. Yup. She's probably be flustered. <laughs> How are you sleeping? Standing up. Are you that bored? Yakutatsu,ごめんね。いや。そんなに気にするな。そばにいられるだけで楽しい。なん。これ。姉、この間成人 <laughs> It's weird to see her all dolled up like that. I just didn't expect her big sis to look like that. She looks nice. Okay. The, the pictures he took while falling. Kind of funny. She doesn't know how he broke the arm. Right? 
Because, like, broke the arm. We were trying to take a picture. But she doesn't know how he broke the arm, right? Because he just returned injured. And now she's making the connection that he got hurt because of her... It wasn't her fault, but she said she wanted pictures and he went out of his way to do it. Okay, okay. No, it's not your fault! Not really! Hmm. You gotta pull up with the accidental I don't think the accidental wrist will work anywhere. That's like that one time where he says, You're the only thing I can see anymore because she was too fucking tall and he couldn't see the back, you know. All he could see was her back, but just yeah, you can't say this shit right now. He was not listening. He just literally just said that back like 30 seconds ago. She felt too sorry to even hear. She looks very apologetic, man. She's ghosting? Oh no, Yamada didn't even come to school. If the friend group is here and there's only three of them, they look concerned. They're probably talking about why Yamada didn't come to school. But she's at home depressed. They feel like delinquents. Oi, come over here for a second, kid. A single fry? Only she's too depressed. Oh. Never mind. She usually gets doubles. Never mind. Because they know that they're close. Oh, Ayamada! What's up? She looks depressed. Cheer her up! <gasps> no! We lost the dog! That shit lasted like two episodes, dude! Where did the dog go? Akita Kentaro got no! Alright, we gotta go back to visit Grandpa. We gotta go visit grandma. You gotta visit grandma, bro. You gotta go buy another fucking Akita dog for her. No, it must be around. She probably too flustered. It might be at home and she lost a summer common. <laughs> yeah, she's just flustered. Oh no, she's still looking at her bag. This is so sad. <laughs> uh -oh. Yes! Snow day! Yes, I swear to God, if you give us extra homework, oh, oh you PJ, you better not. Hara, the fuck? Hara says she lost some doggy keychain, but Hara doesn't have a doggy keychain. Hara understands how important the doggy keychain is to Yamada, and now she's looking for it. What a good friend. Yeah, she knows. Hara clutching hard today, man. I thought when I saw Kanzaki and Hara like this, I thought Kanzaki was about to like go toboggan racing, like home or something. Like they were like, I don't know, the snow's picking up. It's like a sled and they were supposed to get on it together and go home together. That's what I thought he was doing. And I was like, oh, okay, you're looking for the dog chain. Got it, got it. Oh, determined each go. This is impossible, bro. This is actually impossible. You need to pull off some Rentaro levels of feet in episode one of 100 Girlfriends to find like that four leaf clover or some shit. Like in the snow trying to find out one thing, impossible. What if she gets like sick or injured while doing this and Yamada realizes that and she feels even worse about it. Uh oh. It could be just at home. Doggy keychain. Moiko Loki just clutching. Even the New Year's episode too, bro. She's like, she knows the best of everyone, right? Because she was there. She was there with that New Year's, you know, fucking date where, you know, each car stood up against the senpai. Carte hmm. 13? What's it? I want. 
Bro, his arm is hurting. Come on, doggy chain! Doggy chain! Oh! Because that's our perspective. That's his shoes. But. Huh? Who's that? Who could this be? Adachi? No, Yamada, right? Who's it? Yo. Does she understand? I think she understands what he's been doing. I mean, he's literally walking with the umbrella on the ground, just like moving it around while it's just like injuring his arm even more. She knows what's up. I hope she just lost it at home. Oh my god! <sighs> you busy looking for something? Took a picture. She took a picture and sent it to Yamada. Moiko, bro. <laughs> Just hard clutch with the assist. Oh my god. Oh no. Where is Kentaro, bro? I hope we find him. <laughs> I'm just realizing something. They're crying as if this is an actual pet, like an old-time dog that ran away from home when they're trying to find it. Like, if you gave this context out of, like, out of context, right, to anybody, just show the scene, they'd be like, Oh no, where's that dog? They must have lost that dog, you know, an actual pet, without realizing it's a fucking keychain. Because the keychain is very important. It's very important symbolically. But, like, they're talking as if it's like, Oh no, doggy ran away from home, I don't know where he is anymore! <laughs> You give her a hug, right? What? What is the odds? What? It was stuck on that fucking branch? What? How? How the? Because she was so tall, maybe she was swinging her fucking backpack like this on the way to school and the dog chain got clipped on the fucking tree? Maybe an unknown person found it on the streets and plugged it on the tree in case someone would find it? I don't know. <laughs> Damn, it's right there. Uh, uh, someone else found it. Nice, nice. This got so emotional. True, he would have kept looking down instead of up. Oh? <laughs> Bro closed his eyes like a girl waiting for a fucking kiss. <laughs> Alright, now come on. Hug me or something. He just like, come on, do it. <laughs> you know, this is like what a girl would do. It's like, oh, a kiss is gonna happen. I'm gonna close my eyes. <laughs> Where's the embrace? She feels still sorry. Oh no, he's gonna get sick now. And now she's gonna feel even worse that she can't help him out. Everything she does just keeps fucking him up. Sickness time again? What is it? Huh? Let's go. Let's go over. Yeah! We have yet to come over yet. And next episode, right? And maybe her dad's, you know, over. The dad was a gamer, right? We've already seen the mom. Does Yamada have any siblings? I can't remember. I don't think they've ever mentioned it. And we know about the, you know, the corgi as well. And if it's snowing a lot, if it's snowing a lot, it's going to continue to snow. Maybe this gives us an excuse for us to like sleep over, right? Because like, if he comes over, it's like, oh, it's too late, and you know, the snow is too much, and you know, it's dangerous outside. It's like, oh, can I stay over the night over something? I don't know, maybe? We're searching together. Here's season two. We begin with a pretty fast paced episode. Like, immediately we go back into where we had left off with the arm injury, right? We're in the new year, we're in the final term, the third term of middle school. I think that we're about to graduate now. So what are they, like grade 9, their final term, and then high school would begin grade 10, 11, 12, right? Some of the things that happened was kind of, you know, reminding us that she's an idol, you know? She's like a super cool person in the in entertainment industry, and, you know, there's going to be potential for her to do other stuff that other dudes are going to be ogling their eyes on, but, you know, this is part of the package. You 
you know, date, potentially dating a girl of this caliber, but I wonder if Yamada would ever go through with stuff like that. Some of the other stuff, like Hara and Kanzaki was very cute. <laughs> Kanzaki with sideburns is fucking cursed. And low-key, he kind of looks better with his bangs up. I hope he switches up his hairstyle, but maybe Yamada enjoys it. And then the rest of the episode was just super sad, man. Yamada realizing like, oh no, he broke the arm because of me. Oh no, I broke that. I fucking lost the dog chain. It was just so sad, but it led to a great moment of Moiku also clutching and being the ultimate wing girl and then us going over to Yamada's place and oh we've already met the mom we saw the dad in the opening he looks super cool he's like a super gamer right so maybe we're gonna have something in common because each guy's like a I think he's a gamer at least he's an otaku right and now maybe we can also stay the night over because the snow is too much but hey we'll see that in the next episode if you're still here though and if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care